Look who's back everyone. Uh, he's been on his holiday to Blackpool. And he's come back to Stockton. Holiday's over. Uh, he's come to bang in some more goals for us this season. Yes, that's right everybody, welcome back to episode number 17 of Grassroots to Giants here in the northeast of England with Norton and Stockton Ancients again. Uh, I'm your host Dean KJM, um, where Thomas Cole has decided his short stay in Blackpool for his holiday uh, is now over. He didn't really perform very well for them, a, six point, uh, sorry, a 7 point sorry, a 7.2 in his first season, just below a 7 in his second season. Not too many goals though, but if we have a look how he played for us before he left, was very, very well. So he is the short-term replacement for Noam Emiram. Um, anyway, today's episode, obviously not a lot's happened since the last time you were with us, because the last game was the Gisborne Town game, which was the previous game. Uh, but today is a double header cup special, uh, Red Crow Athletic in the FA Vars fifth round, and then we've got Willington in the League Cup quarter final. Um, so let's get straight into the game. Today's lineup is going to be, we're going to put Christie back in goal. Brown had... A shocking game for us against Gisborne Town. So, you know, until he's, he's 6.3, until he's settled in a little bit, uh, we're just going to drop him, basically. Um, Chris Salmon, at right back, familiar pairing in the middle with Greenwood and Azzy Akunu. We then go and Anderson at left back. Uh, Bailey Acethorpe uh, was complaining about the lack of first team football. I have been playing him, but apparently it wasn't enough. He came to me for saying he was very, very unhappy. Uh, so he's left, basically. Uh, we're then going to Snowden, Brookwell and Raymond as the midfield three. You can see they've got a good partnership with each other. Um, Egan, Gale and Cole slot straight back in with a partnership already established from his time at the club before. Um, so that's going to be starting lineup. Realistically expecting a comfortable win against Red Crow Athletic. They are in the same division as us, uh, which as you all know is a division that we are pretty much dominating. Uh, we're just going to tell the boys we've got faith in them. Obviously Thomas Cole should be familiar with how we play proven goal scorer uh for us let's just uh, drop that down uh, and let's get into it let's get the latest scores on this one no not event updates scores uh, so we can see how everybody else is getting on again still not entirely sure who's good who's not um you see Talor is still in there uh, afc blackpool who we have just brought cold back from uh still in there Kendall are in our division. Uh, they're not doing very well, though. Of course, they were relegated from Tier 8 last season. Um, it's been a very quiet game for us so far in terms of highlights. We're approaching half an hour, and we haven't had one yet. Expecting a little bit more. Thomas Cole playing well on his second debut for the club. Up to a 7 rating. Uh, but it does look like we're going to get into half time with nothing happening. He says, as a highlight starts, it's a throw-in by Salmon, but it's Hammond cleared by Diskin. It's forward again to Salmon, now Brookwell. James Gale, inside to Egan. Raymond, forward to Thomas Colt, who finds Anderson. And Anderson hits the post with the first-time effort from the left-hand corner of the penalty area. The left wing back there. A good effort. It's not quite good enough. Um, so that pretty much is going to be the only highlight of the half. No, it's not. <laughs> um... As we win the ball back in the midfield again, it's uh, Raymond. He's now got Brookwell. Raymond again to Joe Snowden. Niall Brookwell. Greenwood. Snowden. Looking to build from the back here. Raymond goes out wide to Anderson. Uh, has he got any support? Doesn't look like he needs it. He's driving past his man towards that byline. He does now have support from Raymond, who looks far post towards James Gale. And he does what he's done all season for us. Getting on the end of a cross. Uh, for his 35th goal of the season. Great play. Great play by the lads. Anderson did well to drive the ball forward. It's a great ball in by Raymond. Uh, and Gale just towers above uh, the defenders. Like I say, he's been doing that all season for us. That is half-time, though. 1-0 uh, up. We are dominating the match, though. If you have a look at the match stats. I say dominating. We're dominating possession, maybe. Shots wise we've had more but I wouldn't say it was dominant. Um but can we can we build on our one goal lead? James Gale with a poor pass forward there. Uh, but the goalkeeper does give the ball pretty much straight back to us. It's now now Brookwell. Can you finish? 
he can. Now Brookwell grabs his third goal of the season from centre attacking mid. Uh, he's played very, very well since I've moved him forward from the deep line playmaker position. More into a central position. Um, Azia Kunu again wins the header. Easy header really. Great ball forward by Raymond again who gets his second assist of the game. Uh, and it's a good finish by Brookwell there. Uh, and we are now comfortably ahead looking to get into I believe it's the quarterfinals next. Uh, obviously defending champions very much like to defend our title. Anderson now with the throw in on the left hand side. Um, it's to nobody in particular. Uh, but they have gone long again but Azzy Kunu as always is going to win them all day long uh, it's now Anderson again driving down the left hand side he's got Raymond back to Anderson inside to Raymond again looking for his hat-trick of assists he finds Thomas Cole Thomas Cole gets his 10th goal of the season it's offside though offside though it was a great finish on his second debut for us it must have been a tight offside was it it, it was quite tight yes uh, but correct decision uh, I've just noticed we've got a 6.5 rating in there. I might have to have a look and see who it was and make a change. Let's just quickly... It's Jack Egan. Jack Egan's not had the best of games. We might look to bring him off uh, in a couple of minutes after this highlight. Um, it's now Red Reflect are moving forward. It's a, a nothing cross, which is comfortable for Christie to claim. And he throws it out to Anderson, the left wing back, who goes over the top towards Thomas Cole. Uh, it's now Thomas Cole driving towards the byline he's fouled it didn't look like a foul to me it looked like a good tackle there by Arnold um, Thomas Cole is going to take the penalty though on his return to the club and he does now get his goal on his second debut Thomas Cole welcome back old friend straight back into goal scoring ways um, can drive us forward obviously losing Emiram was was a massive blow to us uh, but we can bring Thomas Cole in as a as a replacement it's not too bad nowhere near the same quality but not too bad still um anyway christy with the ball he goes forward long towards egan who i am looking to bring off in just a minute but egan it's a poor effort really he did well to get into the position position he was in uh he has improved slightly but you know what we're three nil up let's make some changes let's get some fresh legs on tom james gales played a lot of football for us this season uh, we'll switch Nelson to the poacher. I need to set up in the pre-match, really. Um, we'll leave it at that for now. We'll just make the two. We'll keep one in reserve, just in case. Uh, Harry Benz, of course, only his second appearance for the club. Right into the 75th minute, uh, we do have another highlight. It's Redcliffe Laker with the ball with Discan. Now Walker. Walker comes back. He goes across the field towards Beswick. But Brookwell cuts the nod down out. It's now Luca Nelson. Gives the, gives the ball straight back to them. Uh, it's now Ball for Redcar Athletic. Uh, ball gets the ball into the box. Wilson is unmarked at the far post. It's given offside though. A little bit of a let-off for us there. He was totally on his own. I don't know where uh, the left back is. He's he's just sort of left him. Um, has our left wing back there. I, can, I forget his name. Is it Atkinson? Anderson, Anderson, <laughs> I've got an awful memory. Um, anyway, Walker with the corner, it's headed clear by Sam Greenwood, good header away. It's Wilson though, uh, for Redcar Athletic, he's comes back to Walker. Uh, we've put the pressure on, we've forced them back again. Now it's Stanley, uh, who gives it straight to Christie. That's that's the uh, the pressure system working there. Uh, Christie goes long, looking for Luca Nelson, but Holloway's underneath it. But Raymond wins the second header. It's now Thomas Cole comes back to Raymond. Snowden switches it out wide to Anderson on the left flank. He drives towards that byline. He comes back inside to Raymond instead. And now it's now Brookwell who's hit the crossbar. Uh, Raymond wants that hat trick of assists, but uh, good header by Brookwell. Unlucky, really. Uh, but we're now approaching the final five minutes, and we are going to be qualifying for the quarterfinals of the FA Vars. Uh, for the second year in succession. Um, they're, they're in penalties in that game. They're in penalties in a few of the games by the looks of it. Raymond with a man of match. He played very, very well. Of course he did. Um, yeah, comfortably into the next round. Just having a look there, there was actually four games that went to penalties. Um, Tower Town did, did knock out Kendall Town. Obviously, Kendall, the division above Tower Law. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure who the other teams are, to be fair. Uh, what sort of level they're at. Another 2.25k. Winning the fifth round. Raymond, you play very, very well. Well done, mate. Financially, we're doing very well. We're at about £44,000 now. We're still well underneath the wage budget, which is great. But we're, we're making decent money. Um, next game is going to be Willington in the Northern League Cup quarter final. Uh, obviously, the draw will happen for the FA Vars as well. Uh, so we'll go over that before the game. I've got Thornaby to take care of in between. So I'll catch up with you guys for the second half of the episode. All right, guys, welcome back um, to the Northern League Cup quarterfinal against Willington, who, as you can see, are a division below us. We did have the one game, obviously, in between uh, a comfortable 3-1 win over Thornaby. Um, Jack Egan, James Gale and Thomas Cole getting the goals. What that did do for us as well is we're now guaranteed a playoff spot in the division. Uh, you can see we're comfortable. We're 22 points clear at the top of the league now with nine games remaining. So... Promotion is pretty much on the cards. Um, also, we were we did have the draw for the FA Vars. I'll just quickly go over that. Uh, we were drawn against Salford, Sa Saffron Walden Town, who are an Essex Senior League team. Uh, Essex Senior League is at the same level of, uh, as us in the county leagues. They are currently top of that league as well. Um, so it could be a difficult game. Today's game, though, against Willington, we have had to make a change to the lineup, it's a force change. Now Brookwell has actually picked up an injury, pulled ankle ligaments, expected to be out for between six days and two weeks. Uh, so we have brought Tom Devine in, in the centre of the park to replace him. Uh, he's obviously match, lacking match fitness, he hasn't really played much. Uh, but let's get into the game. As I said, Willington are a division below us. It should be really another uh, formality for us, really. Um, to make it to the semi-finals of the Northern League Cup. Obviously a competition which we didn't do very well in last season and I would very, very much like to win it. Uh, let's get the latest scores on there. We are the only game on, actually, uh, so we don't really need those on. To be fair, 16 people have turned up to watch this game. 16 people. Obviously, the people of the North East don't value the Northern League Cup very well. Um, but the first highlight is going to be a Willington highlight. It's Prudhoe on the left-hand side. He's got Summer who looks for Jatta, but it's cut out by Greenwood. But Summer, Sumner gets the ball back again towards the byline. Does get the ball into Jatta this time, uh, but it's deflected off the crossbar and gone behind for a goal kick. Half an hour on the clock now. We're having another one of those quiet first half. Um, the goalkeeper clears it long. It's helped forward, but Greenwood's there to cut it out. He gives the ball straight to Prudhoe, though. Not the greatest of passes by Sam Greenwood there. He comes back to Sumner and now Cummings. Prudhoe again. Jatta. He's now found Sumner. Now Cummings. And we're not really giving them anywhere to go at the minute. And they're going to have to go long. Uh, he switches the ball out to Hudson on the right hand side. Now it's Yates. Hudson again. Giacomini. Harrison. Uh, again we're pressing well. We're not really giving them an out ball. Uh, we're, we're sort of forcing them long. Uh, they have managed to find Hudson down the right hand side though. He checks back, looks for Jatta. Jatta does get his head on the ball. Difficult to score from there with a header, really. Uh, that is the half time whistle. Quite concerningly, we haven't actually had a highlight yet. Although you can see the XG, we've had seven shots on target. Uh, but obviously, nothing that Football Manager feels is of note. Um, very, very quiet first half from us. Hopefully, things in this half will improve. We do have a lot of tired legs as well. Obviously, we are still fighting on three fronts, so matches are still coming thick and fast for us. Um, it's now Willington again with the ball. It's Pew to Cummings, out wide to Sumner. Um, Prudhoe inside now. It's Prudhoe again, gets the ball back. It's Giacomini forward to Linney, and now Hudson. Hudson's fouled by Anderson, uh, and we've given away a penalty. Which is not great on the fifth in the fiftieth minute. Uh, we could find ourselves behind here. Christie in goal. Christie can't get to it. Uh, we are behind. Lee Pugh with his first goal of the season. I'm going to demand more of the boys. Maybe going behind is the kickstart that we needed in this game. Uh, we really don't want us to go out of this. We are the better team here. Right, finally we get our first highlight. It's a free kick in by Devine. It's gone past everybody though, but Jack Egan does manage to retrieve the ball. He's forced all the way back to Chris Salmon. 
um, who can bring the ball forward again. He's still going. He's going all the way. He's gone a very long way. He finds Greenwood though. Now Snowden. Inside to Raymond. Gale. Back to Snowden again. Divine. Back out wide to Salmon. Need James Gale to get himself in the box. Salmon skipped past his man. The ball is into the box. It's towards Thomas Cole. Uh, it's deflected off either the defender or the goalkeeper there. Uh, gone out for a corner to Norton. We're piling the pressure on now. It's a corner from Egan. Looking towards James Gale. Gets his head on it. It's a good save by the keeper again. We have somehow managed to bundle the ball into the goal though with Joe Snowden. Uh, not really sure what happened there. It was a good header by James Gale from the corner. A good sort of point blank save from the goalkeeper. Uh, let's just have a look and see what happened. Great header. Uh, Snowden has just sort of bundled the ball across the line there. A little bit messy. I'm not going to complain though. We are back in the game. Uh, we've got a lot of very, very tired legs. But we don't really have the squad depth to be replacing people. Uh, Snowden, Egan, Gale, inside to Raymond. Jack Egan's got, made, Jack Egan made the run there. Raymond could have found him. Uh, James Gale's now tracking back. He's, no, he's, he's give up. He's give up. Uh, Divine has fouled Prudho, and now Divine is going to get himself sent off. Um, what do we do here? I don't really want to sacrifice a striker. We need to go and get the goals. I might just leave it as it is and just hope that we don't have another. We've got two more players on yellow cards here. Hope we don't have another silly sending off. Um, it's just demand more again. Azikunu with the ball. Raymond. Anderson. Raymond again. Now Cole. Snowden. We're passing the ball around nicely here. Can we get an end product of it? It's Chris Salmon out wide on the right hand side. In towards Egan. Egan does get his head on the ball but it's gone wide of the post. Coming into the final 15 minutes now. Still one each here. Egan with a free kick though. Uh, it's gone to absolutely nobody. Uh, but we do get the ball back from the clearance from the goalkeeper. It's now Salmon again. He's all by himself on the right-hand side. He does well to find James Gale, though. James Gale with an effort. It's easily blocked. Snowden feeds Egan. He's hit the post, but it was offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Uh, the boys are so, so tired. Anderson with a throw-in. Uh, again, it's gone to absolutely nobody. And now it's Story for Willington. Jatter. Story goes long with the ball. Azikun is underneath that though. Uh, but it's gone straight to a Willington player. And now it's Linney. Uh, Yates. Giacomini. Yates again. Story. Uh, it's a poor pass. It's well cut out by Sam Greenwood. Now James Gale driving forward. He looks to feed Thomas Cole. But it's another poor pass. Um, Greenwood is going to... No. What are you doing there, Sam? What are you doing? Just put your foot through it, man. Get rid of it. We're coming into the final five minutes now. Uh, I don't know if it's extra time and penalties or just penalties. Um, hopefully we won't find out. Let's see if we can get something going here with Raymond. Uh, Azia Kunu now Greenwood. Greenwood goes along but it's given straight to them. But Salmon does pick up the second ball. Snowden into Egan. Snowden. Now James Gale. He finds Chris Salmon. It was a poor pass but Salmon managed to get there. Now it's Greenwood. Gale. Keeping the ball quite well here, but end product is what we need. We're still passing the ball around in little triangles. We're going backwards and forwards, side to side. Uh, Azia Kuna now finds Anderson. Anderson with a chance to get the ball into the box. We need Mr. Gale in the box. He is in the box. It's towards Gale. Gale gets his head on the ball. And he scores his 37th goal of the season. We've come from behind with 10 men. And we're now leading against Willington in the final minute of the game. Let's go very defensive. Five minutes of stoppage time. Of course, we've had a penalty and a yellow card. Uh, sorry, a red card. Uh, but we've done it. We've managed to hold on. We've managed to hold on in front of 11 supporters. My mum came again. Came to see us win. Good win for us. Divine, disappointed you getting sent off, mate. Uh, but we are in the semi-final, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's quickly see who we're going to get. Uh, I'll, let's quickly click forward. The draw is in a couple of days. We'll keep clicking forward till we get to the draw. Find out who we're playing. Apparently I've got a, one of my uh, younger players turns 18 soon and he joins the club. I'm not entirely sure which one he is. 
I think he's a goalkeeper. Uh, obviously, won't be up to scratch. Um, can we get the draw, please, football manager? Keep going forward. Here's the uh, the rest of the quarterfinals being played now. Right, finally, we've made it to the draw. That took a lot longer than it was uh, supposed to. Uh, let's stick it on an automatic draw. We've got only one lower division side left, which is Newcastle University. Um, let's see who we get. Wickham are first out the hat. We are way to Wickham. And then it's Newcastle University against Ashington. Uh, Wickham, of course, I believe, are in our division. They are in our division. They're currently in sixth place. Um, we'll click forward, get the schedule. Or is it already scheduled? Uh, it is already scheduled. How have we done against Wickham in the past? 3-0 and a 3-2 win over them. Uh, so, again, uh, we, again, we should advance to the final. Uh, which is going to be played at... Not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you very much, as always, guys, for watching. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, please leave that like on the video. It helps me grow, uh, as always. Um, and I'll catch you all next time.